Hello and welcome. This is James from the DSO Imager channel. And uh, tonight I wanted to give a channel update. Now first, uh, I am at the recording of this video, I am one sub away from hitting 2000. So this is a, a really cool uh, achievement I've gotten. I am very thankful for all my subscribers. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, this channel started in uh, January 2021 when I uploaded my first video, just a really short uh, recording of Mars. And since that time, I've made a lot of friends on YouTube. The uh, astrophotography community on YouTube in particular is uh, very interesting. It's uh, very open and very warm compared to some of the other uh, groups out there. Also astrophotography has really taken off. There's so many YouTube channels out there covering this topic now which is awesome. So many people jumping into this hobby. Uh, I've personally helped a few people get started with it so it's uh, it's really an exciting time to be in to astrophotography. And to uh, kind of celebrate uh, hitting the 2000 subscriber mark I'm going to make some data available for free for anyone that's watching this. The uh, link will be in the description of this video. So let's first go over the content on this channel. As you guys know, the main video that I put out there is those workflow videos. Those videos were not really intended to be tutorials per se. It's more like documenting uh, the steps that I take for each picture. Uh, I think the advantage they have over a classic tutorial is that um, everything that I learn uh, gets applied to the next image that I process. And so you're getting the latest techniques that I'm using and the latest software that's coming out. And I know a lot of people have been able to pick up little things here and there from these videos. Uh, they do assume some, uh, uh, some prior knowledge of Pixinsight in particular and in general of processing astrophotography, astrophotography photos. So they may not be the best for, uh, for beginners. However, uh, we're not all going to be beginners forever, right? And so after you've gotten a little bit of experience with it, these are great videos to, um, uh, to advance your own skills. Now I do have a couple of tutorial videos out there. Specifically, I've got a beginner uh, Pixinsight site where I've pared down all the steps uh, to the bare minimum just to kind of get your feet wet with the tool. I've got some videos out there for like managing color or doing the mosaics in Pix and Sight or running deconvolution manually. So the tutorials are out there, uh, but um, I think the workflow videos, once once you know the basics of Pix and Sight, the workflow videos can be very useful. And of course I do gear as well. So I'm mostly reviewing my own gear, um, but if I get gear from other manufacturers, if they'd like me to do a review, I'm certainly happy to do that as well. And real quick, some things I'm thinking about. So if I do any star parties or camping trips in the dark sky, uh, I'm thinking about doing a, a video on those. Of course, new gear, always going to have video on that stuff. I was thinking about doing some streams. Uh, not really sure exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe it'll be like uh, just kind of a hangout in the stream while I process an image, something like that. Uh, informal, relaxed. Uh, and then more FaceTime. Uh, you may see me in front of the camera a little bit more often now. All right, uh, I want to give a very quick uh, tour of the YouTube channel because uh, maybe not everyone knows or is familiar with the layout of these YouTube channels. Okay, so here's my uh, home page on YouTube. Uh, video, everyone knows about this, where the videos are. Uh, playlist. So I do break everything down in playlist. Pretty self-explanatory. Notice I got the workflows here and this site. This is where the tutorials are going to be living. So that's going to be your mosaics or deconvolution, the beginner, whatever. Gear, self-explanatory, and solar system. I don't do a lot of solar system, but if I do do the solar system, I'll drop it in here. Uh, I am currently working on that comet. I guess I should drop the comet video in Solar System. What do you guys think? Alright, here's the community tab. So I'm using the community tab. Generally when I 
uh, finish an image, first pass, first time processing that data, I'll drop it in here just to kind of share where I'm at and uh, certainly people will comment on what they think. Uh, sometimes the final image looks a lot different than what you see in here. Uh, a good example is this one. Uh, way too heavy on the HA on this one. So the final image, uh, I think, struck a better balance. But anyway, do check out the uh, Community tab. And then I've got the Channels tab here. And these are all the astrophotography related uh, channels that I subscribe to. Uh, all excellent content. So if you're uh, looking to add more channels to your, uh, to your subscription list, uh, definitely check this out. Now, I'm sure I've left some people out. Uh, if uh, you're one of my regulars and um, your YouTube channel is not in this list here, please let me know. Drop it in the comments and I will get it added. Uh, lastly, we of course, we've got this all-important subscribe video. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe. That way you can uh, stay up to date with my latest content. Uh, I got a join button here for YouTube membership. And then you got Astrobin and Instagram. Now, Astrobin, if you're not familiar, this is where you're going to be able to go and look at uh all my images and you can see the high resolution images of course there there's a plate solve function here which is really neat and uh, yeah, you can hit the full resolution and get a nice up close I know YouTube doesn't do a great job with the images especially in the community tab and even uh, on when I show it in the video it's the resolution is still going to be pretty limited so if you want a better look at some of these images, yeah, Astrobin is where to go. Okay, uh, supporting the channel. So like and subscribe. That is the best way, the easiest way that you can show support to this channel. And that certainly helps with all the YouTube algorithms. If you're interested in supporting the channel a little bit further, uh, using the affiliate links uh, that I have in the uh, descriptions of the videos, uh, would be a great way to help out. Uh, I get a small commission if you click on any of these links. They don't cost you any extra money, uh, but uh, I'll get a little bit something from these vendors. So RC Astro, so that's Blur Exterminator, Noise Exterminator, Star Exterminator. If you click on any of those links and you get the demo and you demo it for a month and then you end up buying, I'll get that little commission. And High Point Scientific, same same deal. If you click on that link, whatever you buy there, I will get a little bit of a commission on that. And then lastly, I've got the uh, join membership uh, option enabled. Uh, I have one member, Chad. I am truly grateful. You're my first and uh, really appreciate it uh, for joining. Uh, so what kind of perks do you get from joining? Uh, you'll get some access to free data. I will make my data available. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a monthly poll and then whichever image wins, that's the data that I'll make available. Um, it also opens up another line of communication for me. I mean, that's not, it's not a big deal because anybody that asks any questions in the comments, I'm replying to all the comments anyway. Uh, but with the membership, there's uh, two levels, a small monthly charge. And uh, yeah, that would help the channel out too. Any money that this channel raises uh, just gets reinvested into the channel. So that means new gear, new equipment for the uh, working the channel. And um, yeah, so if you like what you're seeing and you want to help out, that's uh, an option. But honestly, really just liking and subscribing, I mean, that's the thing that uh, would help the most. And the data set that I'm making available for everyone is my Pac-Man Nebula data. So I've done this uh, picture. It's been a couple years now. It's taken with my Celestron Edge HD8, uh, the ASI 294 mono camera, 6 nanometer astronomic filters in SHO. Uh, it's one of my best pictures to this day, even, even without uh, all the new software and techniques and everything that I've learned. Uh, I just have been very happy with this picture, and it's one of the reasons I haven't reprocessed it yet. So, 
if uh, if anyone that's interested it's the links going to be in the description just for Google Drive uh, all that I ask is that uh, you give me acquisition credit so you can do whatever you want with the image you process it you can look at the workflow video on this one and share it out wherever you want to just make sure you do a reference or a shout out to um, to this YouTube channel or you can tag me in Instagram or whatever. Uh, so that's all it. Uh, I would love to see how you guys do with this picture. You can certainly send them off to me. There's an email in the uh, on my YouTube channel or you can drop a link. I think YouTube will block links uh, initially but it should go into uh, an area where I can approve the comment. So if you do post a link to your image and you don't see your comment right away Give it some time. Give me a chance to approve it, and it should pop up there. So anyway, I'd love to see what you guys do do with it. I truly appreciate all the support that I've gotten. Uh, it's an awesome community here, and uh, I look forward to seeing where this goes. So with that, I'll say good evening and clear skies.